All right, folks, I'm about to give you a one week update on those seedlings that I found outside. Um, so this is how they're doing. And uh, as you can see, uh, they're growing nicely. Uh, you don't see a whole bunch of growth in the first few weeks, but uh, stuff really starts taking off, I'm hoping, um, soon after that. Now, a whole bunch of them died, and I'll tell you why. Oh, right, good. I see. So I had this uh, greenhouse over there, and uh, what happened is it's on the east side of the house and uh, gets a lot of morning sun. And inside the greenhouse, it just baked the heck out of those seedlings. So they just, you know, withered off the next day. Uh, but I, since I have you guys here, I'll show you all the other seedlings that I've got at various stages. Um, now these guys, they have been, um, you know, they've sprouted sometime mid-March. It's almost coming up on three weeks, four weeks here. And uh, as you can see, the first true leaf has shown up. And uh, the seedlings, I think they grow real slow um, at the early phase. And uh, once they get started, you know, they do much better. Um, now what I did is I got these uh, seeded, um, you know, like they were supposed to be sycamore, so they sprouted. Uh, here's how crazy this is. So this tray here was set for a magnolia, and there's a magnolia seedling right there. But what's really crazy is there's the tree right there. Um, the seeds just blew off, and uh, they just came and, you know, they flew and... Um, you know, they took off, um, you know, in so many places, it's just crazy. They took off and here's one more tray that uh, I just had the tray set, sitting down and you, you can see how many seedlings showed up. Uh, I did not even try to plant sycamore here. And uh, I'm going to guess that uh, you don't even have to bury these things. They can just be on the surface and as long as there's no water, you know they'll just take off springtime rain really helps and here's one that uh, um, you know I've taken a whole bunch of these the reason you see empty ones is because I took those out and transferred them onto uh, individual pots and I'll show you that real quick um, So these are some specific healthy ones that I moved um, from uh, and some of them are actually doing a little bit better, growing a little bit faster. So I'm going to guess that uh, it ha has to do with, uh, you know, just crowding and uh, they have a little bit more depth here for the roots to go down so they're just thriving a little bit better. Now uh, what I have to tell you is uh, I don't think it's a good idea to put these in direct sunlight when they're this little because um, uh, what I've been doing is after the first real leaves showed up I've been doing some miracle grow uh, just to help uh, speed things up a little bit and uh, you know give nutrients to the seedling uh, right after I do the miracle grow the Sun comes and burns up some of these dudes like look at this one um, the uh, first baby leaves you know they burned off but I think it'll still make it because it has the true leaves here but that's what's going on now I did find some that just showed up in my <laughs> garden bed here so there's one right there I'm just gonna let it go and see what happens um, so anyways, that's just the progress update here, you know, I'll keep updating you guys, uh, maybe make one another video in like two weeks, another two weeks from now, um, see where we are.